Sandra Scott, and I am here today with my good friend, co-founder of Who, What, Where, Hillary Kerr. I am so excited <laughs> to have you here at the Kendra Scott offices. Thank you. It's beautiful Thank here. You. Thank you. We are doing a little manis and mimosas today. Cheers and to you. And on mimosas. I know, right? <laughs> I'm just so thrilled to have you here. Well, thank you so much. I'm really excited to be here. And I'm just, I just got the full office tour. And I have to say, <laughs> it is so next level. I don't know what to do with myself. You know, I know. Snack room, like the smoothies on tap. There's so much care and thought put into every single detail in this office. It's really inspiring. Coming from you, that is a massive compliment. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about those like early days yes. and, and where it came from? Like where did Who, What, Where came from and, and how did this like, I just want to know, the, I love the early day stories. As do I. I. It's kind of crazy to think we celebrated our 10 year anniversary in October. Which Wait, cheers to that. Thank okay. you very much. A reason to drink. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it really came out of this idea of wanting something that we didn't see. Magazines were starting to fold, the things were going online only, and we realized at the same time, it's sort of the, like the height of the paparazzi first days. We weren't interested in the gossip, we just wanted to see their clothes and like yes. what they were actually wearing in real life. And so we thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we created a website that had all of the amazing content that we loved about magazines, right. but made the whole thing shoppable, to then be empowered to make either a shopping decision or a style, a style totally. decision. Did you ever think back in the beginning that it would be what it is Did right now? Did you think? No way. Okay, not in a million years. <laughs> it took me a while. I mean, if you would have asked the girl in the extra bedroom that was making jewelry out of a 10 by 10 room if I thought I'd be sitting here with you in this amazing office, no way could I have dreamt that big at that time. But mm -hmm. as I started going and I started seeing things happening mm -hmm. and you start to realize maybe this could be a possibility. And then the dream became a little bit more real of Okay, I think this could happen, but it wasn't it wasn't day one. Day right. one was like, I just really hope that maybe someone will like this. Yes. Or you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think is next in terms of technology? I feel like 3D printing, we've only just started scratching oh my gosh. the surface, well, we, right? We laugh because, you know, if we are printing out, let's say, a cuff bracelet, mm -hmm. it takes eight hours. So we do it overnight, mm -hmm. and then we come in, and I told you we named our printer Santa because it brings <laughs> us presents. <laughs> But it's eight hours, and yeah. I was telling my 12-year-old this, mm -hmm. and he goes, Mom, he goes, I can't wait when I'm your age. It's gonna be like eight <laughs> seconds to print that, and people are gonna go, do you remember when it took eight, eight hours? hours? <laughs> you know? And I just thought that was such a cute perspective because you know, we think of it as like, oh my God, we're getting to do this, and yep. it really is life-changing, but I think you're right. I think there's so much that's happening um, with technology that we can utilize in design. Right now, there's sort of this like cult of the entrepreneur and everyone wants to talk about being an entrepreneur. And yes, it's great. But our third book that came out last year is called The Career Code. And it's about careers and really also focusing on like most people don't start their own company, so nor do I recommend third it. book. Like, <laughs> I can't get one. How do you just like whip out books and run a company? It's I mean, to explain this to me. How did you get inspired to write your first book? I mean, that's amazing. Um, my third book. It's 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 I, <laughs> it's been funny. Just killing well, me. You have a family. Yes. How do you? I hate the question. How do you balance it all? How do you, you know, compartmentalize? How about I, that? That's more masculine. <laughs> I I don't I don't think you ever. I'm always a mom. So I mean, people say, well, are you a CEO or a designer first? Like, what's your? And I'm like, well, I'm a mom first. If any of my three sons or my husband or something is happening, I mean, I'm gonna drop everything and yeah. race to whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like to miss things. I like to pick them up from school. I like to drop them off in the morning. Yeah. But I think every day we're trying to figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. And there are days I feel like I am the best. I've got it all, all happening. Out. I'm so awesome. <laughs> and then the next day I'm like, I'm a failure. I wish I could, you know, like I missed this or I forgot about this or, you know, so it's just, it's a constant, you know, thing. You're just trying to figure it out every day. So do you live in LA now? I you? live in okay. LA, um, although I am I'm on the road all the time. So I I'm, still really love the idea of a who what where office right here I in mean, our building. I'm I mean, down. I feel like you know I, you I, install a queso bar and that is for sure happening. A queso bar, <laughs> come on, Ted, I gotta get with it. The smoothie bar clearly is not cutting it. 
you clearly are like a fashion icon in your own <laughs> self. You are. Thanks. And you look at fashion every day. I mean, sure you're do. looking at what people are wearing. Like, who's your fashion icon? I think probably my my go-to is um, Brigitte Bardot. Mm -hmm. Always, like I just the love. tousled hair, yeah, yeah. and She's, stripes. I mean, a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, I just, I love. And I love uh, how you just said her name. It was very French. It was like Brigitte Bardot. <laughs> you know? I love <laughs> that <laughs> body. <laughs> Speaking of like outfits, mm -hmm. do you have like a investment piece that you recently bought that you're just obsessing over? I have a little bit of a weakness for everything that's coming out of Gucci right now. Right. And, and I know that you speak the same language on that. Um, I, I just bought the Gucci with the snake going up the heel. So, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, of course. I wore it to an, an event where I was speaking on a panel. Uh, and I mean, literally everybody was like looking like down yes. at my feet the end of it. I didn't care. I was like, yeah. You're like, I get it. That's a snake on my heel. <laughs> I'm actually wearing my investment piece. So this one, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I walked in and I was like, girl. That well, do you phenomenal. know what this is from? So do you remember in a Devil Wears Prada when she's leaning up against the car? Yes. Is, this is vintage. That is, this is not the jacket she wore. We can just pretend to say it's maybe the it is. jacket. But my husband knew I was obsessed with this jacket. I've watched this movie a million times, and I kept not buying a Chanel jacket because I'm like, it's too expensive. Like, I really love the one from Devil Wears Prada. He found it, and that was Valentine's present. That's so now I, I had to bust it out today. <gasps> Please so tell me you cute. throw your coat. I don't. I don't. Because I say I'm the angel in Jimmy Choo. Yeah. I'm not the devil in Prada. So, yeah. <laughs> Loving having you here. This was such a treat. Truly I my honestly, pleasure. You're giving me mimosas too. So I mean, no and, one's bad. <laughs> and you know, we're gonna we're gonna get a, a manicure yes. in our salon, yes. which we have here in our offices. Complimentary manis and pedis if you're a Kendra Scott employee. Not mad at that. So <laughs> today you can just you're one of us. Yes. You're one of us. I love that. This is such a treat. Cheers to you. Cheers girl to you boss. as well. You're Thank amazing. you so much for having me. <laughs>